All right, the deed been done. Uh, this actually ended up being way more involved than I expected it to be. So, dummy me, all I did was squeeze that out by itself. I didn't squeeze it out in a bucket of dirty water before I splashed it down into the cooler and all the dirt came out and it was nasty so I ended up after I had this filled once I ended up having to um, do a 100% water change in which case uh, I couldn't get a siphon going so we pulled out all the stops here I had this pump hanging around that may or may not have been from my last quarantine tank and never got cleaned which could be problematic but bubbles is tough um, and then once again, I put in a half gallon, uh, or I'm sorry, five gallons of regular water, and I put the stress coat and the safe dechlorinizer in it um, before I dumped it in there so I didn't kill all the bacteria in the sponge. And then I put five gallons of the tank water in. So this tank, it's not gonna get a vacuuming this time, but it has had its regular one-third water change. So. I'm going to fill that up and not worry about that till next week. Um, it's still a little dirty. Part of that is there was still some tannins in the water. Part of it is a little bit did come out of that sponge, not a whole lot. After I squeezed it out in a bucket, it was dirty as far as get out. But I mean, that's essentially the water he's used to. And um, I might put another air, an air stone in there actually to get a little bit more oxygen going for him. This thing's kind of sputtering to a start because that is a thick sponge full of all kinds of stuff right now. Um, it's been in there for well, almost two years. So, all right, you can see here I have a, a big thing to clean up here, and I didn't use a towel, so there's some water in places. But oh well, Bubble seems fine now, doesn't he? Like he didn't have a problem. But this is better for him in the short term. In the long term, he'll go back in here because all these fish, when I get that 75 gallon on dollar a gallon day or whenever I can finally afford it, all these fish I've looked up are going to be just fine if I put it at 75 degrees and, um, and I'll still have room for other things I want to do in there. I want to get like a, like a feature fish, uh, like a centerpiece fish. So. All right, I'm dirty and I'm sweaty and I need to take a shower because fish keeping makes me tired. Bubbles, I hope you'll be okay. I'm gonna feed him a pee and see what happens.